Investigators have not ruled out the possibility of a hate crime, and this is being investigated as a homicide. Charges ramped up tonight over a deadly protest confrontation in Ventura County. Also tonight, intense flames in Tustin forcing firefighters to pull back, leaving an historic hangar in ashes tonight. Welcome to KCAL News at 8, streaming live on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Susie Sa. And I'm Juan Fernandez. The Actors Union and Major Studios may be closer than ever to making a deal tonight that would end the more than 100-day strike. That's right. KCAL News assignment editor Mike Rogers at the desk now. Mike, this all comes after SAG after responded mm -hmm. to the studio's last final and best offer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know what, Susie, yesterday when they did that, they had said that the, the studios did not meet them where they wanted to on things like artificial intelligence. That was been a big sticking point this entire time. Well, the members of the union continued to strike. Meanwhile, they uh, met back up with AMPTP. That's according to Deadline, who actually says they've made significant progress, especially on the talk topic of artificial intelligence. Apparently, last night, all the major heads of the studios were on the Zoom call, as well as uh, members of the uh, sag after union here trying to hammer this out to really get things done. As we've been telling you, the deadline to kind of wrap all of this up is quick approaching before everything is kind of no good until next year. So uh, sources are telling Deadline that they are very close to making a deal. Hopefully those uh, details can get hammered out. In the meantime, we're told that the, uh, the two sides are still continuing to talk tonight. So as we come back out here to the desk, we're hopeful that maybe we'll get an update from uh, either, either of the sides or both. Sometimes when it's good news, they put out these joint statements. So hopefully this will all be ending soon. Our Nicole Comstock working on this story. You'll hear more from her in the next hour, guys. All right, very good, Mike. Thank you very much. A vigil in Westlake Village tonight for the Jewish man who died died after a confrontation at protests over the Israel-Hamas war. 69-year-old Paul, Paul Kessler rather, fell and hit his head. KCAL News reporter Jeff Nguyen with the latest now on what's now a homicide investigation. Members of the Jewish community prayed Tuesday for 69-year-old Paul Kessler, who investigators say was in a physical confrontation during dueling demonstrations at the corner of Thousand Oaks and Westlake Boulevards. He later died. His friend Jonathan Oswalks was across the street. Then all of a sudden, I see a punch. During a news conference, the Ventura County Sheriff said a 50-year-old man from Moore Park was questioned on Monday and his home was searched, but he wasn't arrested. The man was also one of the people who called 911 on Sunday. The suspect was identified, willingly remained at the scene, and was interviewed by deputies. The suspect was cooperative and indicated he was involved in an altercation with Mr. Kessler. The sheriff says there have been conflicting reports from witnesses about who was the aggressor. Leading up to the physical confrontation, there had been a pro-Palestinian demonstration which the suspect supported and a counter-demonstration for Israel which Kessler supported. First and foremost, we condemn every form of violence. Number two, we are very, very sad to hear about this tragedy. It is a heart-wrenching. And it is something that we do not condone. And we cannot let incidents like this silence the Jewish community. We briefly spoke with the suspect at his home, but he didn't want to be interviewed. <laughs> A private service for Kessler was held Tuesday. As investigators revealed, he fell back and hit his head on the ground. Investigators have not ruled out the possibility of a hate crime. And this is being investigated as a homicide. The confrontation happened outside this gas station, and the manager says even though there are plenty of cameras here, this pricing sign blocked out what 